What's going on? I'm Sam. I had a little bit of a scare at the end of the last video because I realized I'm running out of money. I had to pay over $6,000 in some bills, but I woke up feeling good today and I'm gonna go check out a forklift that some guy wants to trade for my Ram. Well, I just got here so I'll let him check out the truck and I'll check out this forklift. This truck was running pretty bad when it first started, uh, but after it warmed up it started running a lot better, so I'm not quite sure what that is. Well, I just got back from checking out that forklift and it was awesome. It does have a little bit of problem with the choke. It looks like it should be an easy fix. He had just painted it. I'm not crazy about the color, but the paint job looks really good. It might be too much work, but I would love to get it to a yellow and black paint job like this forklift. But anyway, I got to see his shop. He had a whole bunch of cool toys. It looks like it's a lot of fun to work there. He said he does some work on big containers. The big equipment isn't his main job. I think it's just something he enjoys. He even has this old lift, I think from the 50s, that he said can lift 18,000 pounds, which is crazy. It looks really good. He's done a really good job restoring all of these. But I really like this forklift he has. It's a little bit bigger than mine. It can lift almost two feet higher, which is really awesome. About 500 more pounds. It has longer forks. Everything is nicer and better. The wheels work so it can make much sharper turns. It looks like a genuinely better forklift overall and I really want it. He checked out my truck. I was upfront and honest about all the issues and it does have issues. I did find out the radiator is clogged which is causing all the problems because it does have one hot spot and then cold spots throughout the rest of it. So I need to replace the radiator. It's still running rich and having misfires which my one buddy tells me is from the exhaust leak being so close to the head. And for the first time ever, I was able to actually see the exhaust leak today because I did get underneath the truck. I had felt a little bit of breeze blowing before, but I was actually able to see a little bit of blue flame shooting out every once in a while from the exhaust manifold. So it looks like it would be an easy fix once you get to it, but getting to the exhaust manifold isn't the most fun job. So it popped up with some new engine codes. It had the O2 sensor codes before, now it was popping up with a couple misfire codes. He didn't seem too worried about those codes. What I'm gonna do is change out the radiator, change out the condenser fan because I still didn't change that out yet but I did buy it and put the O2 sensor in so that at least some of those codes go away. After this he said reach back out to him and I'm hoping that we'll be able to work out a trade. So right now I'm going to go home and edit my video, upload that and then I want to come back here and start working on this truck. I already called O'Reilly's and ordered the radiator so once I get that I'll have everything needed to get it changed. Then I'll reach out to him and I'm really hoping that we'll be able to work out a trade. If not at least this work is done and I should be able to sell the Ram a lot easier because I really do need the money now. It's getting to the point I'm running dry. But you guys probably don't care too much about that so I'm going to go edit my video and then we'll go get that radiator. Are you ready to go home? Here's your ball. When I got back to the shop, Seth had showed up and he got the wireless routers configured for me. So I'm gonna be able to set these up as a point to point access network thing. And that way I can broadcast internet from one place to another. I wasn't able to get it done with my setup, but he was able to figure it out pretty easily. So that's awesome. I'm gonna be able to get those put in here now. And then he brought some metal over because his bandsaw was broken out his work so I was able to cut a few pieces off for him I threw them on the lathe put some center holes in them because these are gonna be counterweights and it's a lot easier than trying to do it on a drill press at his work so it screwed up the whole like
I didn't clean them up too much because they're just counterweights. And it was getting pretty late and I'm sure he didn't want me to keep them here all night. So I got the parts done and Seth was getting ready to leave. I was just doing this out of the kindness of my heart, plus he kind of did the work for me on those wireless routers, and he ended up being my first paying customer, so now I got some cash that I can put towards my rent. He got a pocket Osmo that he's been playing with, so I was able to steal some of his shots for that, so they look pretty cool. But now I'm finally ready to start putting these parts on the truck, so I'll bring it in here and start working on it. So now that I got this truck a little more fixed up, I should be able to reach back out to this guy with a forklift and thinking we'll be able to work out a time to meet up and trade. I'm pretty much down to trade at this point, so we'll see what he says in the next day or two, but it's pretty late, so I'm gonna go home. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. What are you doing? You wanna go home? Are you hungry? You wanna go home? Where's Toby? Let's go. Let's go. Come on, bud.